this tutorial, we are going to morph from one moving sequence to another moving sequence. We will use Reflex Motion Morph to do this. You should already be familiar with how to use Reflex Warp and Reflex Morph because Reflex Motion Morph is basically the combination of those two plugins. If you're not familiar with those plugins, you should go back and watch some of the previous tutorials before watching this one. You can download the project called TUT0030 Motion Morph to Clips. And you can work along with me or you can try the tutorial on your own after. Let's take a look at each of our shots first. We have the from shot of the first girl running by and sticking out her tongue. And the to shot is another girl running by and sticking out her tongue. So we will have the first girl start and morph to the other girl while she's sticking out her tongue. Now let's take a look at the morph. You see it morphs between the from shot and the to shot making a nice clean transition. Now let's see how this was done. I went ahead and did a pre-comp of each girl keying the green screen. Then I created a new composition with the pre-comps of each girl. Reflex Motion Morph considers the layer you apply the plug into as the from sequence. So, I've applied Reflex Motion Morph to this first shot of the girl. In case you're wondering why we are pre-comping the footage with the key filter applied, it's because when an effect plugin works with another layer, in this case our two layer, After Effects will not let the plugin see any effects applied unless you pre-comp it. Now, until you designate which is your two shot, the plugin will render all the frames as semi-transparent red images to let you know the two image has not yet been set. We can go to the effects controls and where it says warp two layer, we will select two person two keyed. Like reflex morph, reflex motion morph has a from and a two image at each frame. However, instead of searching the timeline for picture keys, the from image is the frame at the current frame that Reflex Motion Morph is applied to, and the to image is the frame at the current time of the Warp 2 layer setting. Now take a look at the timeline here. We have the from and two shots on top of each other because they line up at the point where each girl sticks their tongue out, and we can figure out over which frame range we want the morph to happen over. In this case, the warp and blend, or morph, over this frame range will produce an effect where one person's face and features are transformed into the other person's face and features. If the shots didn't line up at the point of where they stick their tongue out, we could reposition them. I figured out that I want to have this transition happen over 19 frames, from frame 15 to frame 33. We can set the global warp percentage from 0 at frame 15 to 100% at frame 33. So it starts with no warping or completely the from image and then becomes 100% the to image. Since a morph is a combination of warping and blending, we also need to animate the global blend percentage. So 0% at frame 15 and 100% at frame 33. We can also utilize the auto align feature and you can see that this will save us from having to add splines to the ear and we can use less detailed splines because auto align lines up some of the similar features. You can watch the tutorial on auto align and smart blend to get more detailed information about this feature. Now we just need to set up the splines. Like reflex warp, reflex motion morph warps each frame of a sequence with two sets of geometry, a from set of geometry and a two set of geometry. You should animate the from set so that the geometries match the same features from frame to frame in your from sequence. I'm going to start with the hairline. We can put the display on unwarped from and select the pen tool to draw a spline around the hairline and select the stopwatch to animate the spline. I'm going to duplicate this spline using Command D for Mac and Windows and make this new one the two spline. 
I'm duplicating it prior to animating it so that we don't have to delete the keyframes that are set up for the from spline when we get to the to spline. Now back to the from spline. We can go to every frame if there's a lot of movement like this, or if there isn't as much movement, it doesn't need to be every frame. I can adjust the spline to match the hairline on the from image for each frame. After the spline is matching the from image on every frame, we can change the the display to unwarped 2 and animate the spline on the 2 image to match the hairline of the girl on the 2 image. Now we can go ahead and set up the rest of the splines to match the rest of the features. Now that all the splines are set up, I just want to recap. The splines are in from 2 pairs and if you toggle the auto hide show splines you can see the from two pairs together or on their own. Also, another way to remember is that the from splines are all the first of each pair and the two splines are the second spline of each pair. Now we can change the display to warped and blended and do a RAM preview and see how the motion morph looks. You can see that there's a little bit of tearing at the bottom. So one way to fix this is to add a couple splines along the very bottom row of pixels, like this. You might be tempted to try hold edges, but note that it keeps the frame matched up exactly and it doesn't allow the edges to slide. Let's take a look at another RAM preview once I've added those extra splines along the bottom row of pixels. I think that looks good. So this is how you can use Reflex Motion Morph to morph between moving images.